I took my kids to SeaWorld on multiple occasions. I did not come from animal activism. I've always loved animals, but certainly never thought there was anything sinister about SeaWorld when I began Blackfish. This was a complete revelation. Like, how can something that makes everybody so happy be such a bad thing? And it really was me sort of asking the question why a top-level trainer at SeaWorld came to be killed by a killer whale. Does this happen all the time? Was he angry? What, what were the circumstances that led to that? And everything that I learned really was from that one question. So I came in with that question and learned that there was all this stuff going on kind of beneath the surface the whole time uh, for 40 years. And I was questioning whether I should go ahead because I sort of said, yeah, I probably can't do this, right? I can't get sued. I can't be stalked. You know, the emails, the hang up phone calls, the threats, you know, apparently my phone was tapped. And, and I can't do this because I have kids. And then very quickly I thought, oh no, I have to do this because I have kids. Blackfish fortunately educated people and I think it inspired people which is even I think in some ways more important. It educated and then inspired them to go out and affect change and I think that's a model that Heal the Bay subscribes to. They want to educate and then get you excited, inspire you. Gabriella is the perfect example of the approach that Heal the Bay takes to cleaning up our watersheds and coastal environments. Much like our founder, Dorothy Green, she identified a problem and inspired people to get involved in any way that they can contribute to the solution. When I made Blackfish, I think what it did was galvanize a lot of people. I think so much more about my impact, just personally. I think I'd like to take that maybe a step further now. We would like to maybe at one point build sea sanctuaries where there's sort of a cordon off cove. Returning animals to that is, uh, is a sort of a, a great solution to animals that have been, you know, in these captive environments. Having seen them in wild, it's like you're seeing a different animal. The dorsal fins are like this tower and they're so fast. And then you see what you imagine as a mother and an auntie and a son and then a calf and you learn that they swim together and they stay together for their whole lives and the pods are, are really that tight. It's just, it, yeah, you're honored to be there. You know, you're honored to catch a glimpse. That's what's magnificent about living here and with that comes a responsibility to be a gatekeeper and to be engaged with watchdogs like Heal the Bay and really sort of galvanize to take care of the things that we love.